I'm going to ask the question again because I have before. And for some reason, it gets people angry. I do understand the reason, and I'll get to that too. The question I have is, when somebody offers somebody, anybody, knowledge, and says, I don't want anything for it. I'm just trying to help you. Why would nobody take that offer? When someone says, I can improve your life infinitely, and I don't want anything for it. I don't want you to even have to recognize me if you don't want to. That's fine. You don't even have to thank me. I just want you to listen. Instead, people get angry and they're like, drop your ego, man. Do this, da 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 da, and do this, and go take a class on this, and blah, blah, blah. I don't need any of that. This is their ego getting offended when someone just implies that they don't know something. But when they don't know something and you're coming from an egoless place to say, hey, I see the help that people need. I'm reaching out with everything I have and all that I am. I don't want anything for it. I threw away the rest of the world. I had a, a business that would have made me a million dollars in a few years. But then I looked at it thinking, I don't want to be part of a company that makes millions of dollars by selling people junk. I can't do it. And I won't do it. So I threw that whole thing away. I threw all money away. I lost my family and friends and person in the process. I didn't ask for any of it. It happened to me. And I can't take it away. And if people would just take five fucking minutes to listen to something that I have that is a really deep, meaningful thing that will show them that they have been fucking hurt and lied to and confused their whole life. And they can let that just run through them and understand it and not get mad at me for it. Then exactly what I'm saying will happen. The world can turn around overnight if people get the right information out. If you all of a sudden knew that the winning lottery number is blah, blah, blah tomorrow, and someone said, I guarantee it will be, and I don't want anything for it, you would jump right on it, and you would play that lottery ticket waiting for tomorrow. Well, what if the tomorrow is the whole future, and the lottery ticket is right here? The number is right in my mind, and I can tell you all about it. But you have to just take the time to put in the effort to listen. Instead of get all ego hurt and jump up telling somebody else that they're wrong and that they're trying to get something from you out of it or do something wrong when that's just your ego playing tricks on your mind. My mind is the divine mind. I have no questions. I have no wonders. I created them and I remember it. And I can sit down and tell anybody, anybody, just in words, enough to show them that I know what I'm talking about and it'll freak them out and they'll find something to jump on and say that it's not right because of this. I heard this before. And you heard it from someone else. Everything that I'm telling you, I know because I heard it from God inside me, not even in this body, somewhere that isn't here, nowhere that is somewhere. I've been there. I am there now. I just happen to be also acting like Dan Alexander because I have nothing else that I can do unless I kill myself as Dan or have a world that wants to cooperate and actually fix itself. Instead, they want to debate it by just the first person as an example. When I say, hey, if you just listen to me and like call me or something, I'd rather talk to people on the phone, see them in person, do something where I can see them and actually interact. Not typing words on a piece of paper or typing words on a computer screen or anything to do with just words. I don't want things to be this way, but I won't make anything happen that people aren't ready for. So people would be like, well, see, you just said it yourself. They're not ready for it. Well, I'm at the point where I can't take a step back and sit around waiting for the children to get done playing 
so that we can all do what's meant to be done now. I have to keep moving forward, hoping that the children will see that the games they're playing are leading them straight to hell. And when they get there, it might be too late for them this lifetime to turn back, but they're still going to be okay. So I could just watch the world crumble and burn, but I don't want that. I've seen that way too many times. And if anybody has even experienced one billionth of what I've experienced, they'd know why I have to keep doing this. And they would feel crushed if they knew how serious and honest I'm being. And they had the experience of having people tell them that they're fucked up and stupid. They don't know how that feels. As a human being, I say shame on them for doing that to someone who's doing nothing but being honest and doing nothing but offering the truth. And no one's even giving the chance to listen to it or to to have it be said because they don't care. No one knows how that feels. People think that their little issues in their life are big deals. And yes, for sure, in their life they are. In their individual life they are. But beyond their individual life, are they doing anything to help others? And tons of people say, yeah, I am. I go out and I do this. I'm an eco-scientific surveyor. That's not doing anything for the world if you're not spending it because you love the earth and you're actually contributing to repairing it, doing the right things to regrow it, doing the right things to do something for it. Going around and telling people what they can dig up and what they can't dig up isn't helping anything. You're just, get bitten. You're just getting paid by somebody who also has no idea what they're doing here. Not many people do. They're all just, once we're a child, now working a job. They're going to have a child. And that child's going to grow up to do a job that's half-assed done or it's going on an algorithm machine. And this isn't me just ranting and talking about stuff I don't know. It's not just me tangenting. It's There's a lot of things that need to be said at one time. And I can't just be like, oh, I don't want people to think that I'm all over with my wild musings and my ramblings because they're not ready for all these things at one time. They're, they're like, slow it down and talk about one thing at a time because my little brain can't handle it. And with me saying things like that, that'll offend them too because they've got a little brain that can't handle it. I want to listen to anybody talk to me about what they know to be real. And then I can show them how fucked up they are. And not because I want them to get angry, because I want them to heal. It's not going to do anything good for me to prove people wrong. In fact, I'll probably have a lot of enemies, but I love them, truly, and with my heart, not just my mind, with everything that I am. They could kill me for all I care as long as they listen to the truth before they do. That's all I ask. My offer is, kill me if you find me to be wrong. That's my offer. My life is right here on the line. Everything I'm saying, I back up with my life. If I'm wrong and you can show me I'm wrong, kill me. Please, in fact. That's what I'm saying. That's how serious I am. Now listen to what I'm saying and prove me wrong so you can kill me. That's all you got to do. Because I can't die. Anyway, I love you guys. Later.